Hi guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are looking at some Minecraft mods. These are for 1.18.2, both versions, Forge and Fabric. So there is a bit of everything. These are very cute aesthetic and kind of epic Minecraft mods that not enough people have downloaded or have recently been updated. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So let's get right into this video. This first Minecraft mod we have is called the Florist mod. This adds a new villager to the game. It is called the Florist. There is multiple different florists. Here is a Valentine's Day florist and here is a general florist. There is also a Christmas florist. With these florists, you can trade new types of flowers. These are some of the new types here. As you can see, all of them at the side. Obviously, the more you trade, the more different types of flowers you will unlock. And here is the general flower guy. You can also trade your flowers for emeralds, which is super cute. Here is all of the different types of flowers. The Christmas ones are so cute. The little teddy bear flower and also this little teddy bear. It is really cute. The flowers are so pretty and they fit in with Minecraft very well. So up next, we've got a bit of a small one. This is a new decoration mod for Minecraft. It lets you have these little stools and you can place carpets on them. There's little chairs, there's these benches, which are like logs and you can place your axes on these. I just think that these are so cute. There is in, these are all in the different wood types as well. So next up we have Croptopia. This is a farming mod that adds 58 crops to the game and there is 26 tree crops. So different types of saplings with different fruits. Here is an example of some of the foods you can craft in the game using all of these crops and a few items already in the game. You can have a huge farm, the items are so cute. There is also this book, this Croptopia book, and it tells you everything you need to know about the mod, including utensils, cooking pot, tells you how to craft it. It tells you how to craft all of the different recipes. There is just so many different foods and they look so cool. So next up we have this mod called Good All and this is a safari adventure mod. So this mod adds some endangered species and most mobs serve a functionality. However, mobs like rhinos will not drop their horns to avoid the slaughter of severely endangered animals. This mod is so cool. It has recently been updated and I'm pretty sure it's gonna continuously get updated. I love the models and the textures of these animals, including this little white deer here. It's so cute, it looks like Bambi. There is also octopus, but I think they have despawned or been eaten. This is a Dumbo octopus and you can catch these in buckets. It also adds crates. With these crates, you can right click an animal and it will capture it. And there is also this deer head. This next Minecraft mod is for Forge 1.18.2. So we are not looking at fabric no more. This is called the decoration and furniture mod. And this adds over 500 blocks to the game, including food, structures, and furniture. This is some of it on the ground, these little paths, so cute. And we've got these little paths here in all the different wood colors. It has these signs in so many different designs little bonsai trees. We've got this little table and chairs in all the wood colors. Go inside, we've got a trash can, a trash can that is fully functional. As you can see here, there's so many different colors of trash cans. There is desks, computers, playstations, bonsai trees, these storage containers, which you can actually store things inside. Cute little fish tanks blocks of gold if you want to show off your materials, some large plant pots, display stands, cardboard boxes, just a whole bunch of decoration items. This is all of them here. There's so many, there's even traffic lights. And this is all the furniture items, wardrobes, bins, cabinet cases, just so many things. So next up we've got lattices and this is a simple forge mod that adds different types of lattices to the game. This is just a decoration block. It's kind of like a fence, but it's more of an iron bar and trapdoor. It's like, it's just a decorative item, which looks really cool. This would look so cool in a garden and pretty because that's kind of what they used for. You can use it to replace windows or just add a bit of detail to the exterior of your house. 
They're in all the wood colors and they act just like an iron bar. There is different designs for each different colored wood. So up next, we've got the mod Backpacked. Now this is by Mr. Crayfish and this is a backpack mod. It adds this backpack you can place on your back. It has config options. You need to install a second mod in order to access the config options. But it also adds these backpack shelves where you can display your backpack. So if we click B because I have a backpack and you can access the backpack inventory, you can click customize and you can completely customize this backpack with different types. You can unlock these backpacks by completing these types of quests, chop 1000 logs to unlock this backpack. This one is like sheer 250 sheep. You can have it so it shows with elytra, enchanted glint, etc. You can disable this, you can customize it and click save. And you can also display them, which is so cool. You can get enchanted books for them, which is marksman, imbued, high looted, repairman and funneling. And this also comes in all of the different wood colors. So next up, we have this mod called Greens Botanical, Botanical Gardens, and this adds new flowers, plants, and foods. These are the different flowers and plants there is. There's new roses. There is, there is a whole new bunch of teas and tea leaves, coffee bush, Caramel apple, fly traps, caramel, some really cute items, but it mainly adds these really cute flowers that I love. If we place a fly trap down, it will hurt you when you walk over it, but I am in creative, but that's pretty cool. Next up, we've got the mod natural decoration, and this adds some decoration around the forest, such as these little acorns. It adds so many more details to the forests and trees just to give it a bit more depth. It's so cute and subtle. As you can see, it adds details to the trees by adding extra branches, little mushrooms and acorns, and there's different colors. It also adds these little fallen sticks on the ground. They're so cute and you can collect these and you'll just get sticks. And next up, we've got the mod which goes along with this mod perfectly. It is called Pebbleodium, and this adds little pebbles around the world to give your world a bit more detail, just like the previous one. You can collect these and get cobblestone, and it also adds these hollowed out logs here, which you can find in forests. When you're roaming around, you can just see loads of little pebbles on the floor. They're just really cute and simple. So up next, we've got Untamed Wilds. Now this is a huge mod that I'm not gonna be able to cover it completely, but I can show you a few sneak peeks. It adds some new plants. These ones here, this is in, I think I'm in a jungle. These gorgeous water plants. It adds little boars, they're so cute. You can take a mob analyzer from this mod and it will identify the mob, tells you its level, its hunger, and it's very hungry right now. There is different variations of these animals. It adds these little burrows, which spawn throughout the world, which contain loads of different animals and insects. If we right click it, it will say there is a soft shell turtle inside and there are four mobs inside the burrow which is really cute. They're not coming out yet, but there's four little turtles in there. Here's an example of some of the turtles. They're so cute. You can tame a lot of these creatures too. If you don't like spiders, please look away. It adds these cute little spiders, which you can capture in bottles. Where are they? <laughs> Where are the spiders? As you can see, they're really cute. If you do like spiders, there's so many different types of snakes. And as you can see, here is just everything. It adds loads of different types of animals, panthers, lions, dracuas, bears. I cannot show you all of it. Eggs to hatch your own little creature and loads of different types of fish. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe, tell me your favorite Minecraft mod, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.